I am so happy to be here because I have one of the best jobs on earth. I get to serve as the Chief Innovation Officer of USAID. And what's been such an honor and a privilege in that role is that our teams have been able to see over 20,000 ideas and fund more than 1,200 different types of social impact around the world. What's been interesting about that is that we're not alone, right? We're all here today representing that. And what was also a great part of my job, number one, is coming to places like SOCAP and getting to fangirl out about the social entrepreneurs that are here, whether that's Vision Spring and Copa, Simprints, Atma, DREV, I mean, amazing, amazing entities. What was also interesting about my job, though, is that I had the great privilege of working with so many different funders around the world to do some of the same thing, to look for interventions that are truly game-changing. Not only other funders, other nations. I just came back from Paris, meeting with over 20 different funders, and we realized something. We realized over the last few years that one, one kind of storyline kept coming out. And that storyline was, unfortunately, two myths. The first was that nothing is scaling. The second is that there's no investable deals out there. And I have to admit, I bought into that for a while. And it wasn't until I started having a conversation with a few other funders where I said, well, what's in your portfolio? Is there anything, you know, scaling? And someone mentioned, yeah, actually, we have this thing that's hitting a million lives. Now, what's interesting about social entrepreneurship is oftentimes the social entrepreneur is seen as the hero. And that's awesome, because being a social entrepreneur is hard. But it's also seen as a little bit cute, a little bit of a human interest story. And so when we started to realize, wait a minute, some of you are impacting a million lives, that's not cute. That's real impact and real business. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to come together, and we're so proud to announce today an intentional movement to bring not only the funders, the entrepreneurs, the investors of the world together to recognize the Million Lives Club. We were struck by the fact that there is an S&P 500, a NASDAQ, all of these things for, for amazing companies out there, but there was no S&P 500 for social impact. There is today. I want to introduce you to the Million Lives Club. Ah, great. <laughs> so, first of all, I wanted to recognize where, where, so some of them are actually here, Vision Spring, One Acre Fund, Simprints. Um, in the audience, we have Skoll, Grand Challenges Canada, Atma. So they're here, they're amongst you. And what's really important, we wanted to realize, is number one, there are a lot of organizations that not only are already hitting a million lives, a million customers, by the way, a million customers, not beneficiaries, but more importantly, some of them are adding a million customers a year. If that's not investable, I don't know how you define that. Then we also wanted to recognize the fact that this is a journey, and many people are on this journey, and not yet at a million lives, but coming close. So we introduced the category of Vanguard. These are all, and Vanguard are our million or more. We then introduced the idea of Voyagers. Voyagers are those that are looking to reach, are on their way to reach a million lives. And mind you, these are a million customers that live on less than $5 a day. And so we wanted to recognize the organizations that are on their way. Finally, we also wanted to represent the theory of pioneers. Some people are having incredible, incredible impact, but they're doing it in places like small island nations, where there not, might not be a million customers, but they're having huge impact in the percentage. The reason we're here today is because what we learned about doing at least 41 challenges at USAID and moving billions of dollars through challenges, prizes, and ventures is that most of you only find out about it when we announce the winners and seeing some nods in the audience. So what we're doing today is that. We're announcing our first cohort. But the Million Lives Club actually is open today and will be open every day over the coming years. Every six months, we will add to this cohort until we reach our S&P 500 of social impact. So today, I ask you, go to millionlivesclub.org. 
If you are on your way, if you are an innovator, we want to recognize you. What's so exciting to me about this is two things. Number one, there are amazing things out there that, in my case, never applied to USAID. Maybe we weren't smart enough to pick them if they did apply. But all of a sudden now, this wakes me up to realize what our options are when we look to tackle the world's greatest challenges. And the last thing I want to leave on, which I think is so important and so powerful, is that these organizations that are on this list, you don't get to a million lives because you've made USAID happy. You get to a million lives because you're delivering customer value because you're doing things and providing a service that the customer actually wants and needs. So our challenge to you, outside of joining this amazing cohort, we're going to be pulling our next cohort on January 10th. So please apply. If you're an investor, get your organizations to apply. But most importantly, let's learn together about what the customer centricity, the idea of delivering real value, actually does because it's impacting more than 260 million lives and growing. Thank you very much.